cast your mind back a couple of weeks ago when we uh, told you all about Camilla. Camilla is a chicken. Uh, She's a rubber chicken at that uh, who works for NASA and she goes into space regularly, uh, specifically looking at what happens with the sun. Uh, Camilla is, well, she's she's tickled me enormously. I'll be honest, I am now tickled by a rubber chicken. And the person who leads her tickling, the man behind her, is called Romeo Dersha. Hello, Romeo. Good afternoon, Vic. Whereabouts are you today? Well, um, we are actually in beautiful, sunny California, Stanford University right now. Oh, what are you doing today at Stanford? Well, today is just going to be an easy day. We're preparing for a couple of uh, really beautiful events. Um, Actually, one event you will see in the UK as well. On June 6th, we will have a Venus transit. Venus will go in front of the sun. And this will be the very last time in our lifetimes that we get to see that. Ooh, so we'll be able to see it during the day as Venus goes across it? Exactly. Just one thing. Do mm. not look at the sun without any proper protection. No, because you could damage your eyes forever, can't you? Exactly. But it's going to be a big astronomical event, and there's going to be a lot of uh, amateur astronomers, science, uh, museums that will have events, and the general public is definitely encouraged to go and look at this beautiful sight of a planet crossing the sun. Well, we'll we'll definitely look forward to that, Romeo. When's it happening? The 6th of June? June 6th in Europe. It will be in the morning hours for you. In the US, it will be in the afternoon hours on June 5th. So, now, we need to look at it, obviously. Well, we need to see what's going on. How can you look at it without looking at the sun directly, if you see what I mean? Well, there are several things you can do. There are uh, safe solar viewing glasses. Those are not sunglasses. Those are actually much, much darker than sunglasses. Um, but the best thing to do is look up for a amateur astronomer club, and they will have solar telescopes um, outside because everyone will be looking at this. If you're an astronomer, on June 5th and 6th, you will be looking at the sun. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll examine that further because I'd like to uh, to know more about it. But uh, thank you, Romeo, for, for the tip-off. Now, Romeo, obviously, you're, you're involved heavily with NASA. You do lots of work teaching people all about um, space science and what have you, using Camilla the chicken. She's, she's a very enthusiastic space chicken, isn't she? She is. She's very enthusiastic because she sees firsthand the impact a mascot can have. And, and all we want to do is we want to get people's attention and we want to show them how much fun science really is. Well, I tell you what, you've got people's attention, all right. Ever since we spoke to you the first time, interest in Camilla in the UK has gone through the roof and we even were in the national press, weren't we, at the end of last week? Amazing. Um, I think we definitely need to come back to the UK and do a little uh, tour around this or your beautiful country. Oh, just you could stay at my house, Romeo. Bring Camilla. We'll have uh, we'll have sleepovers. It'll be fun. Now, the reason we made the national press, Romeo, is because um, we discovered that Camilla wears little space suits, and because this is the home of knitting, we decided to knit you a space suit. And to do that, we needed the help of somebody extra special, and we employed the help of Sue Drage. Sue's here, Romeo. Wonderful. Hello, Sue. Hi. Hi. <coughs> Oh, you're losing oh, Hi, voice. Romeo. As I say, you coughed all over Paul Romeo. Then <laughs> bless him, Romeo. Don't don't breathe in, lovely. We don't want your germs. Have you got? Have you got? A, have you got a cough? No, just a bit of a tickle. That's all. No, oh, that's right. You can have a tickle. <clears throat> no, Ro- Romeo will have one back. I'm sure. <clears throat> now, we set you the task of knitting a special suit for Camilla the Space Chicken, didn't we? That's correct. Yes. And you've been hard at it. Now I haven't seen it yet, Romeo. This is a live reaction to the chicken suit. It's coming out of the bag now. Now you, Sue, you're a special knitter because you knit with carrier bags, don't you? That's right. Yes. Ah, oh, so it's special suit this, Romeo. It's going to be waterproof and sunproof and everything. Now, I should point out actually at this stage too that oh. That we have a model. We have a model um, today. It's a stunt chicken, and you've called him Charles, haven't you? Yes. Yes. So this is Charles the space. space Charles the fake space chicken is wearing the suit to give us an idea of what it looks like. This is magnificent, Romeo. Right? It's orange and white. 
Uh, so you'll be able to see her from uh, from well, you'll be able to see her from space. To be honest, uh, it's magnificent, uh, and it says Camilla on it. It's got Camilla across the top, and it's got little Union flags, three tiny little Union flags going down the front, and also a giant Great Britain on the back. And to celebrate this year, it also has the London 2012 um, logo on it. Oh, how fantastic! This is amazing. I can't believe you knitted this. That's awesome. Did you even knit in... You knitted in the Camilla. How did you no, do that? No, no, that's a piece of plastic that's been fused together. And ah. uh, Richard wrote the name and then I embroidered it. So it's all done with recycled things, including the buttons. That's incredible. And I understand these white bags are from Coventry as well. Yes, yeah, a shop in Coventry because I can't get a plain white bag, so I have to buy those. Oh, oh, but, oh, we'll make sure that I'll, uh, I'll reimburse you for those. No, that's fine. This is, this is, uh, do you know what? I was a bit worried it was going to be, do you know what I mean? I Tacky. was a bit worried it wasn't going to work, <laughs> I'll be honest. But well, it, I did, I did struggle because I'd got no pattern. That's mm. why I bought the other rubber chicken and it took me about three attempts, I think. I've just, I realised that I was walking the rubber chicken across the, <laughs> across, but it just looks amazing. <gasps> You're going to love this, Romeo. It will actually blow your mind. We're going to send you a picture of it now on Twitter um, and then you can you can see it for yourself and we're going to stick it in the post straight away and Camilla's uh, when's her next mission Romeo? Well this is actually perfect timing first of all Sue thank you so much for, for doing this I'm totally excited you're welcome and uh, we have a mission coming up on May 20th and Camilla will fly back up to the edge of space we will have a annular solar eclipse here in the western part of the United States so um the moon will cover the sun, not entirely, so we'll have uh, a ring of fire. We can see the sun around the moon, and uh, Camilla will be flying hopefully up to about 100, 120,000 feet, so about 40 kilometers, and will observe the shadow of the moon on the ground. Oh my word. And guess what? She will be wearing the new spacesuit. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, How amazing is that? And will you send us some pictures of that? Well, absolutely. And... Oh. Um, I have some additional ideas which I will send to you. Oh, OK. That's quite exciting too. Now, brace yourself, Romeo, because like we were saying, it made it into the national press. We were in the Sun last week. Uh, we were in the Mail last week, all with uh, Sue's fabulous spacesuit and her wonderful knitting. But that's not all. Camilla really has captured uh, the imagination of um, our, our listeners as well, Romeo. And a special song has been written just for you. It's by John Neal. He's the songwriter laureate for the show and he does loads of other songs, Romeo, uh, as well that he he just likes things he'll write a song he wrote a song for us about cockroaches he's done one about knitting this is the first chicken song though and he's written this specially for camilla camilla do you want to have a listen to it oh she's right here she's right here oh hello camilla hello camilla oh she's quiet today she lost a little voice oh camilla there you are well camilla listen to this it's amazing it's a song all about you, written by John. Enjoy it. This is Mission Control to Camilla, the space rubber chicken. We have a countdown to take off. Five, four, three, two, one. Hi, I'm Camilla, the space rubber chicken. Strapped in, cosy and ready to go. I've got my new spacesuit from rugby in England. Knitted from plastic bags, don't you know? Knitted from plastic bags. The push from the rockets is hard to imagine. It's so exciting, you'll shout, gee, of course. The acceleration is out of this world. That's why they call it G-Force, don't you know? That's why they call it G-Force. I've been up so high that I've become weightless The curve of the earth is perfectly clear I've looked down below on the oceans and mountains People all look the same from up here Coming back down we're just as exciting The heat from re-entry began to get hot but my plastic spacesuit is fully recycled And I didn't go in the pot Oh no, no I didn't go in the pot Hi, 
Hi, I'm Camilla, the space rubber chicken, strapped in, cozy and ready to go. I've got my new spacesuit from rugby in England, knitted from plastic bags, don't you know? Red and white patterns, row upon row. I can't wait to go up again, make it so. I can't wait to go up again. This is Mission Control to Camilla the Space Rubber Chicken. Mission complete. Welcome home. That's one heck of a spacesuit you got there, baby. Ah, it's magnificent by John Neal. So Camilla was listening to that Camilla the Space Chicken with her handler, Romeo. What did you reckon? Oh, this is fantastic. Wow, um, I love it. I'm I'm almost speechless. <laughs> Romeo, I think he's absolutely brilliant as well. We'll 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 send everything to you electronically as well, so you can keep it as a little memento of uh, of your time with us, because we really have enjoyed spending time with you and Camilla so much, uh, and uh, we can't wait to see what she looks like on her mission. Yes, this has been really really fun, and I really thank you all for for all the support. And what it boils down to is we we have to inspire the next generation because today's kids are the leaders of tomorrow and we have an opportunity to set a good example and to show them that science engineering and exploration it's in us it's what makes us drive to become better and to explore what's out there it really does you're quite right romeo if it wasn't for people like you inspiring the next generation i don't know where we'd be